what's up everybody hey check this out this is markeith price with move progress productions you guys check out tech cyber blog at www.moveprogresspro.com don't forget to like share subscribe comment all right you guys so we're going to get into it death of the password how can you improve your password so before we talk about improving the password what is a password a password are characters made up of different letters different um, characters such as symbols and numbers which i believe we get into another slide later on but when it comes to a password we're working on uh, keeping our files keeping our information as secure as possible so when it comes to um, using a, a great password you're using various characters numbers and symbols like we like I said before um, let's see here when another great technique for example is using emoji cons mixed with numbers and characters not the emoji we have on our phones like the little smiley faces and things like that but the style before graphic vector emoji cons came out so as you see down below um, for example where it has the smiley face the two the seven the five but you want to use a mix of characters death of the password is it really still alive do we still need to be using a password or can we just use our facial uh, recognition your fingerprint recognition systems um, this is something that is in the industry that is being heavily talked about and how can we actually keep our stuff secure as security in the cyber world is getting more increasing um, it is getting more volatile when it comes to people being able to hack into systems and things like that so when it comes to passwords you want to you're you, you want to use 16 characters or more it's, it's uh, important to use 16 characters or more because that is making that will make your password a fortress what's a great way to keep your password secure and remember them here are three types of password managers so when it comes to uh, making your password as secure as possible there are different ways to make sure that is happening so um, when you're making that long password, you might have to go back to the old style of writing in a notebook because maybe you can't use the password manager because a password manager typically is on your computer and typically you have to uh, pay for those services to really, really keep them as secure as possible. You do have password managers on your computer but if you really, really want to uh, step your password game up, you there, there are different subscriptions, different services out there that actually have a way to keep your password even more secure. But you can always go to using a notebook, which then you might want two or three notebooks to put in a secure place because you just want to make sure that you have a backup to your backup. And then also when it comes to password, there is something called only key. Now I will get into a video about only key later on. This is a, this is a drive like your notebook, but also a password manager where you have to like enter a keypad just to secure your password. Now that is really, really securing your password that's when um yeah you that when i show you guys that it will be super advanced it, you'll look at it and you'll be like wow
So when it comes to passwords, when it comes to securing things, these are some of the best techniques to keep your password secure. We will continue to talk about how to keep your password secure in later uh, videos, but I hope you got something out of this. Uh, please like, share, and comment. Make sure you go check out the Tech Cyber blog, you guys, on moveprogresspro.com. Make sure you go on Instagram, look up Move Progress Productions, look up Markeith Price, and make sure you like, share, subscribe once again. All right, you guys, move progress.